I actually did see Yaz yesterday. Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Lo and behold, she had a conversation with Sam after I left. I and, know. And he said to her that, yeah, it was just physical for Tristan, he wasn't that into you. I think you got sabotaged. Clearly Sam was just trying to put Yaz off you. Clearly it worked. It was really weird. When I went to go meet him, I was expecting quite like a serious, firm, like kind of conversation. Mm. But there, he was a bit quite cheeky. Yeah. What do you mean by cheeky? Like, <laughs> like, like flirty. You know, it was like, would things have been different if I had stayed? And like all these things. And it was very hard to answer these kind of questions in that situation. I think there would have been different. It would have. I said that because yeah. if Tristan was there, I'd like you would have kept the ball rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Would I still try to get the ass? Probably. Oh, no! Do you know what? That's enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> if I generally thought, in, when he left, mm. in my heart, that he was really into Yaz, the whole circumstance would be dif different. But he very much thinks that he actually has told you that. Incorrect. And he thinks that you just kind of kept that from me. No. I think he liked you, but I don't believe that he was, like, really into you. He wasn't, like, taking you out for dinners. Well, did he? No. He didn't take you out for dinner once. I think Tristan personally is... He's a very proud bloke. Yeah, I And agree. I think I've... We potentially have knocked his ego slightly. What else did you have to say? He feels as if he can't trust you anymore. And mm. if I can't trust Sam, I also don't see how we're going to have a business together. I do want to prove to him that I'm not a complete piece of <laughs> But there is a lot at stake. Yeah. Um, like a lot. I like shoes, mate. Thanks, mate. It's a bit of you, aren't they? Not quite there, but you're getting there. You're the kind of guy that would get cool trainers, but then lace them up so really unbelievably tight. tight. Be able to move fast. Once well, if something happens now, I've got to run away quickly. Well, I don't know. That could be the case. Could hey. be the case. Oh, hey, man. See you, man. <laughs> right? Hard to get hold of this guy. It's not hard to get hold of me at all. How are you? Good. Yeah, good. Good man. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Listen, I'm going to leave you guys to it. You got some stuff to. Some hide bones. Out. A few bones. <clears throat> What does that mean, hard to get hold of me? It is hard to get hold of you. I've got a phone. It hasn't rung. Over the phone, I have got to try to get in contact with you. can't deny that. Are you coming the front foot at me? No, I'm not coming the front foot. All I'm saying it is sounds that, like but it. No, but I'm oh, saying, let's be, let's, 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 be honest, let's be honest, I have tried to call you multiple times. You have, well done, Sam. You have tried to call me a yeah, few times. Yeah, and I have sent messages yeah. to you, and I have, that's the truth of it. Yeah, but we haven't had a face-to-face -face conversation. No, and that's why like, I wanted to catch you here today. What happened in Corsica, I am extremely sorry about. I, do, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I do mean that. Mate, I the last thing I said to you before I left Corsica was, look after Yaz. You said, yeah, mate, I'll take good care of her. And that's why I do feel awful about what I've done. I do. I also hear from her that you made it abundantly clear that you thought I didn't care for her. I didn't believe that you truly liked it. It's not for you to decide that. It's for me to decide that and for you to see how happy I was. You haven't, I haven't smiled that much in years. I think it's an ego thing. I think it's hurt your ego, the fact this has happened. No, you have hurt my feelings. It's not about my ego. What I personally believe currently, I feel like, Honestly, I feel like you're milking this situation. Milking it? Why the I, f I would I want to talk I about this? I don't think you're into it. I don't think you but are That's into not it. for you to think, mate. It's for me to think. Your actions, and do you know what? Your actions don't show you. Hey, I really was into it. My actions? I was literally all over her for three weeks, and I for two days, and you're in bed with her. How could I possibly prove that I wasn't into her then? How does that make sense to you? It looked like a summer fling. It, you, it looked you, like a summer fling? Also, you, two, you two weren't going for dinner. You weren't like, hey, I'm oh, going to take a date night. Because you didn't go for dinners because I brought you with me because you were crying at home. I don't not respect true, her. Not true, not true. I just, I, I just can't look at you the same way. You don't do that to someone you respect. You don't do that. And that's not the kind of person I want to be close with, Sam. Now we're in a pickle here, because we're business partners, and I'd also let you into my life on so many different elements. I am so sorry for what I did, and I mean that. How do we, I don't, I don't even, how do we move on? I don't know. I want people in my life I can trust and I can respect. And at the moment, you're not one of those people.